Hello everyone, I'm here with another of our weekly reef health updates. It's now early March, so the Southern Hemisphere summer is now officially over, although of course we continue to watch weather patterns carefully. The main weather feature over the last week obviously has been tropical cyclone Niren, which has brought cloud cover, wind and rain to the northern Great Barrier Reef. Now we've already seen a localised signal of cooling from the in-water temperature loggers from the Australian Institute of Marine Science. More broadly, the satellites are not getting a good look at the reef at the moment because most of the reef is covered in cloud, particularly in that northern area where the cloud from the cyclone is still there. Niren is now a Category 3 cyclone, but it is moving away from the Queensland coast and the reef, so that's a good thing for us. At the moment, of course, we are sensitive to damage caused in cairns and to farmland in the wet tropics, but at this stage we're not aware of damage to the reef from tropical cyclone Niren. We still have an interest in coral health observations, particularly bleaching or not bleaching from the far north where there is residual heat stress from uh, above average temperatures earlier in the summer. And of course now we are also interested once it's safe for people to be back out on the water in reports of any damage to corals and reefs from tropical cyclone Niren. That's it for this week. Please tune in next week and we'll provide another update.